Hello everybody, welcome to Impressive Image Maker channel. This is Toshi Yagi from beautiful little island Okinawa, Japan. I'm a photographer, I shot this image for a long time ago. 4x5 reversal film for jewelry shop. Well, I have this image for today's subject and also I made this pencil drawing type image by Adobe Photoshop used filter called Find Edges. Well, this image is the ring and necklace, but the uh, focus is only for this ring. So it's gonna be the main stones right here, right? Well, I'm gonna make something interesting, something, well, some kind of illustration maybe. I'm gonna make this one something. Alright, let's get started. Let me check this change plan, uh, this blend mode. Change to overlay. This is pretty interesting too. Color wines, maybe tone down some. Mm, this is nice. Soft light, mm, nice. Shadow, gentle color. That's nice. I kind of like this kind of color. Well, I want to fix this image as a one layer. Make group, then I duplicate this group. Now flatten this image. Then I get darker image, so I'm gonna duplicate this layer. Then the top, one of the top, change blend mode to multiply. Yeah, it gets nicer, better. Okay, change to multiply and then uh, merge down. Alright, this is nice, pinkish, warm tone. Okay, let me change to rename. Alright, uh, I'm gonna break this group. Move these two out of this group and uh, delete this group. Okay, we got three layers. Now start from here. Uh, change blend mode of this pencil drawing type image. Now it's luminosity, change back to normal and then uh, just turn it off now. Then, well, this pencil drawing type image, which is real nice soft image. This is gonna be the base image. So, let's see, I didn't make the image, which is light color image. That was a soft light or something. Yeah, soft light shows more stone colors. Overlay, yeah, stone colors nicer on here. Overlay effect. Okay, I forgot to make stone colors as one layer, so I'm gonna make group again and uh, duplicate this group, then flatten this image or stone color. I'm gonna rename stone colors, alright? Stones color. Well, I don't know about this here. Yeah, lighten up, that's alright. Okay, now what else I need to keep this as a one layer? Then the overall image is this luminosity effect layer. Then let's see, maybe I'm gonna move this original image and just wanna see over this luminosity image uh, layer. Then uh, then uh, tone down this original image like a 50% half tone image, just like a illustration kind of image. Maybe 40 more shadow, make it 40. All right. This is this is base image, I think. Okay, I'm gonna move this pencil drawing type image. Go up to over top. Then delete this group. Alright. Now we got the stone colors on here. So stone colors go probably go all the way up under the pencil drawing type image. Turn it on, we see this stone colors. So I'm gonna make mask, then invert mask. Okay, just reveal, touch, and 
not everything I just want to see okay use this stone's color just to reveal the match this is it then change this pencil drawing type of image blend mode to darken so we can see through underneath of the image then uh, this is original image 40 percent to show like a illustration image with this luminosity effect layer okay now i'm gonna add white layer let's see okay add layer and then uh, fill layer with white then uh, i'm gonna make mask now i'm gonna reveal this white layer with let's see same evolve okay now right i guess that's that's it for this all right then okay let's see this pencil drawing type image let me see dark into hmm, color burns nicer yeah i kind of like color burn mm -hmm. okay i'm gonna touch up some with the smudge tool with evolve it's fine this is kind of old we can use for anything huh? like smudge to take out this dust not much well that's it for here okay now what else okay i'm gonna add some nice soft color i think i only need this pencil drawing type image color burn is around stones that's all so i can make mask for that well let me see this yeah we don't have much maybe we can have okay one four i'm gonna duplicate this pencil drawing type image then uh, just turn it off right now one and i'm gonna make mask on this color burn yeah color burn is nice and i'm gonna make mask now invert mask then reveal a little bit thick color maybe like so and this yeah all right around here too okay and that's for this then uh, this is color burn effect on pencil drawing type image. Now this one is darkened, which is these lines. I don't need some of them, so I'm gonna make mask. Mm, I don't know if I want these lines. Well, just leave it this way. If I need this, but I don't need this horizontal lines, so I'm gonna take these out and some of dust later on if i said if i think it's mm, it's effective okay just turn it off right now for keep then maybe nice to have okay use this mask then now change the brush to yep oh, airbrushing to so maybe medium blend Real saddle color. Yeah, this is a nice effect. Okay, now we don't need these dark lines around here, so just touch up. Or maybe showing this original image, so nice to take it out from here, this image. So I'm gonna paint it on this original image then. Okay, opacity, go back to 100 then pick some color from this with the same brush medium blend okay now we use smudge tool 
well, same wheel brushing to medium blend. Okay, that's our original image. Now go back to this opacity, go down to 40%. Then let's see this mask. White layer mask. Oops, what's this come from? This lines come from maybe this luminosity effect layer. So I'm gonna touch up here too. Okay, in this layer I may just use smudge tool. Yeah, looks alright. Okay, let's see. Now what? Alright, how's this now? Okay, about this original image. This is 40%. Now I think nice to have more shadow. About 40, that's fine. And I just wanna add one more layer. And over this layer mask. For this is shadow. Okay, wait, let's see. I'm going to add a touch blue one color. Oh, accent. Okay, then make mask. Just touch hard edge. So medium hard blend. Yeah, that shadow. Okay. I guess that's it. Kind of simple, but uh, I guess that's it for today. Um, let's see. Um, I didn't use this pencil drawing tip image. Now I go from here. All right. This is original image. Then I well this original image start from I made lum luminosity effect layer. Well, pencil drawing type image, change blend mode to luminosity to get this image. I may darken to duplicate layers, add some darken colors. This is the base image of the luminosity effect layer. Then uh, I add original image opacity down to 40% to get some half tone image. Then I made white layer mask with take it out outside with this mask this much white layer then uh, i used the uh, stone colors from uh, luminosity effect layer to that was uh, overlay this effect light lighten up the stones i made a mask to get only stones then same thing, uh, pencil drawing type image, change, change blend mode to color burn to get this little bit deep colors around the rings, necklace, gold, a little bit warm, deep colors. Then I add some shadow to make it up more 3D effect well to have this shadow that's pretty nice I think well that's about it for today and uh, well thank you for watching my video you know, and I hope this movie is gonna give you some kind of idea for your creative work like adding well changing blend mode effect first then uh, use mask to get some part you want then well add shadow add colors using mask to get this result well thank you again and you guys have a nice day and i really appreciate for you guys support thank you again and uh, see you next time bye now ciao for you